welcome dear students now we will solve another problem related to virtual work so this is our problem in this figure uh, we have to determine the vertical force p that must be applied at g to maintain the equilibrium that means we should calculate the p p force that should be applied to maintain the equilibrium of this linkage okay so first uh, we should draw the free body diagram so suppose under the action of uh, this force and this moment uh, this uh, linkage moves like this okay So I am just drawing the free body diagram of this. Okay, so suppose this move linkage deformed in this position. I have just drawn the line. Okay, so suppose this displacement is delta y a, this is delta y c, and this displacement is delta y d, and this is delta theta and this is delta y g okay now uh, since uh, this angle and uh, uh, this angle should be same right because when this moves so so now we know that angle uh, is equal to arc upon the radius as we know that so since this angle is same that means uh, this arc delta y a upon its radius that is 0 0.09 should be equal to delta y c and its radius is 0 0.04 that means delta y a should be equal to 9 by 4 delta y c okay so similarly we can obtain uh, for other equations also now delta y d this should be equal to delta y c and again this will be equal to so if we can write in terms of a then 4 by 9 delta y a so this is another equation which we can write and <coughs> similarly we can write for delta y g so delta y g upon point 1 2 should be equal to delta y d upon point zero eight. Okay, so that means delta y g should be equals to twelve by eight delta y d and four three ja four three by two delta y b so this is how you can calculate the relations or the relations and also this angle delta uh, suppose theta this will be equals to <coughs> delta y d divided by 0 0.08 okay and uh, we can write in terms of delta y a so 4 by 9 delta y a into 1 upon 0 0.08 okay and finally when you simplify this way equals to 5 by 9 delta y a okay so this is how you can write it this 
now we need to write the virtual work so delta u it will be equal to now this at t into delta y a because they are in the same direction similarly suppose we are assuming p as downward then p into delta y g and uh, i forgot to draw the uh, then uh, because of the reactions there will be no work okay so because these are the frictionless pins and we also discussed that we already discussed that there should be no work because of the reaction so now the only work is because of this moment force so moment force will be 18 and this angle delta theta okay and this should be equal to zero okay so we can write 80 into delta y a plus p and in place of and delta y g we can write 3 by 2 delta y d and plus 18 and in place of delta theta we can write 50 by 9 delta y it should be equal to 0 and in place of y d also we can write delta y a so y d is equal to as we know that 4 by 9 delta y a okay so delta y a we can take common and then we can simply simplify this and we get p as minus 270 newton so minus means this p will not act in the downward direction but actually it will act in the upward direction so this is the final p okay and its magnitude is 270 newton so this is how we can solve these type of problems thanks for watching have a nice day